Hey guys, Stephanie here. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. All right, well, my last video got deleted for medical misinformation. I went over that video a few times and I'm thinking, hmm, I didn't say anything that's misinformation. I gave my opinion. Like, we're not allowed to have free thoughts anymore. Like, nobody can think differently. We all have to think the same, right? <laughs> so... I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, how am I supposed to do a video and be me warning people I cuss a lot and I vape. So if you get triggered easily, or your butt hurt or sensitive, you think you're a victim of everything or you're some social justice warrior, please, please <laughs> click off now. You don't have to be a wake and bake bitch. And basically harass me and stalk me to the point to where you're giving me problems because you don't like me for some reason. And you don't even know me. That's the thing. None of us know each other. All right. Like, even with Trump, right? He was liked by all these celebrities, politicians, everything, until he became president. Like, he was an actor, right? Everybody worshipped him. He had a show, all that kind of stuff. Then in 2015, it's like there was like this awakening. And I'm still in that stage where trust the plan. No, trust the plan. Fuck you. <laughs> because since 2015, we've been hearing nothing but Sean Hannity and all these people telling us that justice is going to be served. And, you know, they're going to they're gonna pay for their crimes and. The only thing I'm seeing is an uptick in crime. Nothing's being done. Uh, they banned Trump, who was a president, from social media, all that. Okay? But in the meantime, his campaign is sending out to the donors, like, help us, help us. Lindsey Graham giving Kamala Harris the fist bumps. And so cringe. Her interview... That she just did with the border and her being like, <laughs> I haven't been to Europe yet. How? Oh, God, what is wrong with you? Like, for real. What is what what, what is what is wrong with you, girl? What's wrong with you? You don't care about those kids. Neither does AOC. None of them. They they came down here and did all this, right? They they basically do what they wanted in an election. Um, they're in bed with Chamima, who's controlling our media, everything. Um, there's raids happening everywhere where the CCP people from Chamima are seizing assets from very wealthy people in their vaults. Like, I don't really think people are truly getting this point here. <laughs> like for the past couple years, you've been hearing nothing but people ripping truths off. Okay. And before conspiracy theories were people who believed in aliens, you know, made fun of them. Well, aliens are real now. Woo. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. You know, science is forever changing. Remember when Pluto was like the last planet in our or, you know, I don't think people ever really step out of this, this superficial way of living. Seriously, you don't know Trump. You don't know me. You don't know Bill Gates. You don't know Beyonce. You don't, we don't personally know these people. We don't know the news anchors. We don't know how valid their stories are. We don't know anything. But since Trump came into office, he's been calling out a lot of things that were once considered conspiracy, but not conspiracy anymore. It's, it's happened. Like Nancy Pelosi making fun of the, you know, the vaccine passport. She's like, can we just really trust people in the merit system? Really? <laughs> because if, if I'm not mistaken, we're trying to get Gavin Newsom out of there, who is related to you, Nancy Pelosi. We, we have Kumo, de Blasio. We have all these freaking 
God, we got uh, Ilhan Omar, you know, who wants to free all the terrorists in American prisons and, you know, <laughs> has been caught laundering all this money. And, you know, there there's this whole side of the Democrats, just like I saw Bill, Ga ah, Bill Gates, Bill Clinton come out today. And you guys... Trust me, I like I know I'm just kind of going off here and there, but just stay with me because I have to really <clears throat> I want to be very direct and blunt, but I can't because YouTube, you know, they say it's hate speech or this or that, but yet you have a professor at Yale come out and say that she fantasizes about killing white people. Uh, by law, that's a terroristic threat, dude. You can go to jail for that. If I were to be like, yes, Muslim church, I'm going to kill you all. I just dream about it. I dream about killing Muslims. You know what would happen? I would be all over the news, dude. I would be all over the news. But because it's not a white person doing it, and it's at Yale, and it fits the narrative, it's okay? No. It's not okay. It's not okay to wish harm on anyone. Whether you agree or disagree, you don't wish harm on people. Dr. Faki. Oh, medical misinformation. My bad. Just look. Look. God. So frustrating to not be able to speak. And what's even more frustrating is knowing that I have been on the other side to where I used to be a bad person and now I want to do good. And so it's like, really, God? Like, God has a sixth sense of humor. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm looking around and I'm like, how confusing this world is for younger people. You're basically being told by a certain political party that if you have feeling or if it's for these causes, it's okay to bend the constitution, the laws. It's okay to do that. And that is my opinion, not giving any kind of misinformation. You literally have two different sides and one side gets away with dirt. And the other side is being set up for dirt that the dirty side made up. Do you, see, do you feel where I'm going? So to see, to see all this crap with grabber by the kitty cat and all this with Trump. Then to see Bill Clinton and he did on TV. It's a fact that's not misinformation. He did lie about his affair. He lied about it. We all know that. But it's like every other day you see Obama, Clinton, all these people all over the TV. And it's like, my God, dude. I think I was so happy when Trump was president because at least I knew, you know, he may not be the best. Who is? We all have BS. But he was honest. Honest. And that's what I come on here on my channel. I'm literally venting all the things that are, I see it. I see it and it makes me sick to my stomach, especially like when I go on Twitter and I read all these articles about kids who go to get a thing, you know, because it's been approved after finding out that it has like, you know, there's some serious things that can happen from getting that. And then there's these 17 year old kids with cardiac arrest or blood clots. You got 20 year olds with Bell's palsy having strokes. I have Bell's palsy. Like Mr. Wake and Bake always likes to say, what's wrong with your face? Bitch, I have Bell's palsy, dude. Back up. And I don't like how the media and the news are like, well, it's only temporary and it's not that serious. It's like six months, maybe two years. No, you're... <laughs> the misinformation is real, that's for sure. Because I got into a really bad car accident and the stress from it and all that. So if like I'm sick... Or if I'm stressed out, I don't have enough sleep. Like if my immune system is weak, my face is weak. The muscles are weak. I have to eat properly, get enough sleep, and avoid stress. 
But in this reality, who can really avoid stress? It's everywhere. Everywhere. Lay Nancy Pelosi. Can we really trust people on the merit system? We don't trust you, lady. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I get this email from my kid's school district saying, and I remind you, I'm in Texas, you know, where right now we have this whole freaking chaos, right, over the voting. It's oppression. It's oppression. You got to have ID. You got to prove, like, having ID and saying who you are is oppression, right? But I'm getting all these emails to take my kids to go get this experimental miracle medicine that everyone should go get. Go get your vaccine. I am pro-vaccine. I say if you are scared of COVID, if you don't want COVID, if you know somebody who's had COVID, go, go get that shot. Just go get it. What about like, you know, don't ask, don't tell. Anyways, so... But it also says, disclaimer, you have to have the kid's birth certificate, your ID. Like, you have to have proof that this is your kid. You have to show two proofs of identification to get your kid this COVID shot. Vax. Ain't. I'm trying to screw with the algorithm. I really don't want to get screwed. I don't want my video being taken out. Because honestly, I don't think anything I do is wrong. But anywho. So I'm like... So wait, we have to show all this information to get our kids the jab a jab a jab a jab, okay? But I'm here like right outside of Houston and where they're keeping all these migrant children, they're not doing background checks, nor do these people have to show identification to take these kids from the border. So these people are just like, yep, those are my kids. And they just put them in the car and drive off. <laughs> oh, like Kamala Harris. If I've never been in Europe either. Like, I would. Do you know the patience it had to take? Not to just be like. <sighs> I'm telling you. I, I just, I don't get it anymore. Because you have all these people with all these causes and just like the, you know, Black Lives Matter co-founder, she just built a huge wall around her mansion. So, you know, she's in California, mansion, wall. We all know all that money got put into a certain political party's political funds and the amount of money that has been spent on... All of this, on all of the political ads, everything since 2015, I think it's like over $98 billion that has been spent on campaigning and advertisement. And I'm thinking, really? Really? Seriously? Look at how everyday people are living. Like, there's going to be, like, mass eviction. Like, there's, there's all sorts of things happening, even though the main stream doesn't really tell you but even inflation like the store i go to like even my prayer candles because i'm like weird like that like not like witchy like stuff but anywho so like even the candles i buy are like 75 cents higher bleach is almost five dollars a gallon laundry soap today i was paying like 349 for a gallon of gas i'm like <laughs> really but Biden, because all this Russian collusion, he was like, you know what, Putin, my friend? I'm just going to have to give you a contract for a pipeline. Screw the Keystone. We don't need that here. <laughs> oh, wow. And then we're, we like all have all these wars going on, you know, talks of wars, like all this crazy stuff. And I don't know about you guys, but I find it really odd that, like, it's screwing with my sleep schedule. Now, this is so random, but the sun doesn't go down in Texas to, like, after 9 o'clock at night. So, I'm like, if I see the sun, I'm like, Dee -doo -doo -doo. like, I'm a hyper person. So, it's like, it's screwing with me. And they're like, now, they're like, well, we don't, we don't, we, 
we're not going to change it anymore. We're just going to skip daylight or whichever, like fall back or whatever it is. And you know what I'm thinking? Yeah, because the elites need more illegals in their fields. <laughs> it's so horrible. It's a joke. It's a joke. Ha, 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 ha. Anyways. <sighs> so, oh, what else did I want to talk about? Hold on. Let me look at my phone real quick. Be patient with me, guys. Seriously. My kids are like about, well, my daughter's about to have to start summer school. So, I get basically like four weeks from the whole lockdown homeschooling crap. Like, you don't understand. Anybody who's experienced multiple children in the homeschooling during a lockdown, you would rather go to the dentist with no Novocaine, no nothing. Like, you don't, like, just drill in my mouth. Like, you would rather get a tattoo. Like, because, <laughs> like, if you hear a notification on your phone or your email goes off or anything, you're automatically thinking, which one of them got off of their laptop? And you literally just want to duct tape them to the chair. But you can't because that's abuse. <laughs> but the teachers got on this whole trip where they were really enjoying. But honestly, seriously, I give mad props to teachers. I couldn't handle that all year. So it's like, I'm like four weeks off. So I am soaking it up because my kids and me, not good. I'm more like a visual learner and I have to be in an environment. My daughters are the same way. So it's frustrating to me. Not only that, they don't, they didn't really make it easy. There's like this portal, that portal. It's like, ugh, really? Because trust me, there are so many parents that were doing their kids work for them. I know that's, I know that for a fact. I have a friend who's on the um, school board, <laughs> but I'm just like, no, I already went to school. I already had to do this. I'm not doing it for you. You do it. Like, no way. So anyways, all right. So more with the drama that's going on. So like, all, have you ever noticed like every day is like Trump, 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 Trump. Everybody's still talking about Trump. Why? Well, nobody's talking about the election. No, nobody's talking about any of the real things going on. We're still talking about Trump. So are we going to have to hear about Trump for another four years? Because I think that was like why a lot of people voted if they did against Trump, just because they can't stand to hear celebrities and news anchors and the media. <laughs> but it's like you literally are just like, OK, the crime rate in Chicago is way worse than El Salvador. Do you know that El Salvador used to be the number one murder capital of like the world, right? And now it's Chicago. How's that Biden working for you? That Lori Lightfoot, like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I don't think I've said anything that has to do medical misinformation or misinformation or anything like that. You kiss my ass. If you get butt hurt, if you get butt hurt, oh well. Cause, oh well. I'm, yeah, oh well. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being told how to feel, what to think, what to say, what not to, I don't care what people think. If you don't like it, oh freaking well, man. Oh well. Too bad. And this whole like, oh, and, oh, I know that's one of the reasons why they probably got that video off there. So I was talking about the rainbow community and stuff like that. And it really is like, you know, woo woo, coo coo, you got to go talk to somebody, you know, because there are some serious like consequences that come with people who have uh, challenges in their brain, kind of like short bus special, you know, and then you get narcissistic sociopaths in power and they prey on the weak and they... What they do is they build them up because they've never had any attention or friends or anybody who liked them. And then they make them feel special. So it goes from just we want equal rights to I want all the special privileges, even though it makes absolutely no sense. None. Period. End of like full stop. Like all those stupid people and all these speeches. You know, I just I just find it odd that nobody could be honest. Nobody, nobody, and it's it's like wow, hmm. 
I mean, how much longer can people really handle the whole Clinton, Obama, this whole Holly weird, just all the sadistic, like all this spiritual toxicity, all this negative, all this hate, all this one sided. You get rights, but I'm taking your rights from you. Like, you know, and it's just like every day we're talking about the January 6th insurgent. Like, what? Isn't BLM still in Portland, like burning stuff down? Didn't we just have all of our statues toppled? We have critical race theory. In Canada, if you're a parent of a transgender child and you purposely misgender them, you go to jail. That is a fact. Okay? You don't hear anything about what they do to Christians, but it's all Muslim. I'm telling you now, people, when you hear News anchors talking about how the American flag is so disturbing to see all those American flags on the beach on Memorial Weekend. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then you got Mexican kids who, honestly, it's not even their fault because they're being brainwashed and manipulated and all that. But if you think about it, so these kids are just, like, going on the stage and, like, wearing their Mexican flags, but they're not getting their diplomas because it breaks code of conduct. There's a time and a place. But you can't feel bad or you can't hate, well, no, I'm not saying you should actually feel bad for these people, not hate them or, you know, whatever, because it's basically what they're being taught and told, you know, especially when you have somebody go, especially like Yale. I used to really look at people who had those kind of like levels of degrees as like very prestigious. And now I'm just like, you're just a pompous you're like a pompous ass. Like, none of you are genuine. You're just spouting out some other crap you learned. And I mean, people are so dumb. They really are. Like, this whole, like, minimum wage thing. Uh, do you realize that they're going to promise you all this stuff because robots are going to replace you all and you'll just be on their social income which is basically the stimulus checks right now. That's why they're going to start sending monthly payments. You know how they got black people stuck on welfare? Democrats did that. Democrats did all, oh my God, these people are demonic. Wait, no, they're not. They're amazing. Democrats, Democrats. We love all the Democrats. Obama, Michelle Obama, you're the bomb. I love you all. I love all of Hollywood so much it literally like makes me not want to eat i love you chrissy Teigen. i love you lebron you're the man like china's my hero <laughs> this upside down world fool i'm telling you we've entered a parallel universe of anyway i love you all hit that like subscribe and share talk to you later Bye. Hopefully this video doesn't get deleted. I'm starting to lose faith here, so I don't know what to take seriously anymore. Love you all. Bye.